Not me forgetting to put on the microphone. Am I actually able to do this while it's going? I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. <gasps> hey darlings, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Vlogmas Day 1. We are within Vlogmas 2021. I remember last year I tried to join Vlogmas by like doing makeup tutorials every single day. But with everything that was going on, and quite frankly, with everything that goes into creating a makeup tutorial, it was just, it was not really plausible. I did set myself up for a trap, but at least I tried, you know? So this year, especially given the fact that I'm working um, full time now, like nine to five, um, back in corporate, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do Vlogmas on a weekly basis. So I'm going to cram Vlogmas day one, two, three, let's see, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna cram Vlogmas day zero, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So the first four days of Vlogmas, in excluding day zero. Okay, include. <laughs> let's start again, let's start again, let's start again. <laughs> the first five days of Vlogmas, the first week of Vlogmas, I'm gonna put in one video. And then starting on Sunday, it's gonna be Vlogmas day five, six, seven, blah, 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 and then I'll drop that video next week. That's basically how this Vlogmas is gonna go. On today's itinerary, it is my day off, so I have a couple of errands I need to run. Um, for those of you who don't know, I... Let me get the t-shirt. So for those of you who don't know, I founded and run a non-profit company basically an ngo called the bomipsa foundation this is the logo so what bomipsa stands for and why i chose bomipsa as the name is a bomipso is something that my dad used to call me and basically my siblings as well he called us the divine combination of the body mind psych and soul so a divine combination of the body mind psych and soul so that's a bomipso. Everybody's a bomipso. Everybody's a divine combination of the body, mind, psyche, and soul. You know? So we've got two types of t-shirts, which is this one and this one. So today, um, I'm going to be dropping off some clothes that I've been collecting for some kids at a school that I've been working with. The school is called the September Lemateso Secondary School in Nyanga, which is in, here in Cape Town. Um, how I started working with them, actually, back in 2019, um, one of the teachers, her son, put a post on Twitter asking anybody who could assist with like um, the, the school's matric farewell, whether it be with makeup, dresses, suits for the kids shoes whatever it be if anybody can help please chime in and a friend of mine tagged me on that for the makeup because that's when i was doing beats by volo full time um because i was still a student and so i also had like a ton of shoes lying around and a couple of evening dresses posted on my facebook a couple of people donated their evening dresses i think a few people like a handful of people also donated suits and so we were there i went with my two friends we did the kids makeup and that's how i got introduced to the school and i've been working with all mamufeni i actually don't know her first name i've been working with her for two years and i don't know her first name anyway mamufeni i've been working with her um i started collecting these clothes it was never like a a formal clothing drive I, I would just tell people like if you have clothes to donate please pass them my way especially boys clothes because girls clothes i've found are really easy to come by i have a ton of gold clothes but with boys clothes they're really hard to come by so if you're watching this and you have a bunch of men's clothes boys clothes any age group really from kids to adults let me know hit me up i will leave the foundation's email address um in the description box so what i'm doing today is i'm going to sort 
a bunch of the clothes that I received so that I can go drop them off. I'm hoping to be able to drop them off today because I said I would drop them off today. Uh, I would really love to go to the gym. <laughs> I'd really love to go to the gym. <laughs> it's been a minute. And I also need to go get my nails done because these nails are kind of outdated. Um, I had a bit of a late start this morning. It is currently... Oh dear. Okay, so it's currently 11.51 a.m. And I would have liked to be out of here by 12. So that's obviously not going to happen. Right. So anyway, let's get tidying up. And let's get sorting the clothes so we can see how far we can get. I really would like to drop these clothes off today. Hello? Uh, please come help move these clothes to the Okay, so I'm about halfway done. I just wanted to show you guys basically what I'm doing is sorting the clothes like kids clothes um, Adult clothes female male and whatnot and also doing quality checks So most of the stuff behind me has checked out. So this is actually the first item that I've seen that doesn't really check out So it's got holes in it So anything that has holes in it that's got weird stains on it um, Scuff marks aren't really a deal breaker but anything that has like holes and scuff and um, weird, you know, um, bruising on it, then we don't give away. Um, yeah, so I'm about halfway done. Okay, so this is the first box. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> so this is the first box of kids clothing. Uh, let me just turn this around, shall yeah. So this is the first box of clothing um, it's all kiddies clothing which I'm so happy about because finding kids clothes and boys clothes has been really hard I think I mentioned that well I mentioned the boys clothes part um, not the kiddies clothes so um, what I was saying is that finding kids clothes and boys clothes has been really hard so I'm really happy that we got so much there's still another box full of kiddies clothes and kiddies shoes and stuff so um, in order to quicken up the process also, I'm just going to quickly do the rest off camera um, Because I'm actually running late um, And then once we're done with that, we'll be on our way because I still need to make it back in time for my nail appointment Drivers accept my ride request because <sighs> I know I'm attending the election. I mean, I don't blame them, but you know. Oh, there's a driver. Yeah, he's five minutes. Oh, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Okay, shoes. <laughs> hey, muscle man. <laughs> Is more muscle man that time. If not, I'm a young lady. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Do you see my feet and just two way in younger? Ah, I was. Lol, he thinks I'm moving out. Hello, Daddy. 
Wait, there's a smaller box, right? Come and do it, London. Mm -hmm. One thing about me as a girlfriend, child. Hi. I will let this man do all the work, do all the heavy lifting. Cause, yeah, with these hands, with these nails, I don't think so. Oh, stop. That's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little button in the box. It is such a mess. It is such a, oh, my camera's still on. Let's turn that off. There we go. Bye for now, camera. Bye, TV. Bye, Leah. Bye, apartment. I should take some water with me. I haven't really eaten properly today. Okay. Oh, shoot, I was supposed to take the small box. <laughs> How am I gonna do that? Mm. At least I did some heavy lifting. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, love you, bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. I'll let you know when I get there, when I get back. Alright. Quite later on in the day it's actually it's the next day it's 2 30 a.m i can't sleep i go through like these bouts of sleeplessness um i used to have insomnia well i think it still comes and goes but like i had it quite bad in high school going into varsity and like now and again in my varsity years and it literally comes back every now and again so i was watching temptation island I got to the last episodes of Temptation Island South Africa, um, the reunions. Guys, one thing about Amadot, they will be the death of us. They will end us. Like, if you've watched Temptation Island essay and the reunion, please let me know your thoughts down below. I am traumatized on behalf of the ladies. I am, <sighs> anyway um you guys last saw me getting my nails done so this is what i went for are you able to see that so like i went for this set it's completely out of my comfort zone if you know me you know that i usually go for neutral colors when it comes to nails but i was like ah get a zamba so you know hmm we'll see i think they're gonna grow on me i'm hoping they're gonna grow on me and i'm gonna feel comfortable with them if not i've got nail tech stuff so I'm going to paint over it and yeah. So anyway, I just prepared my lunch for tomorrow at work. I usually, like if I'm not too lazy, I usually prefer to prep my lunch the day before because the morning of, I usually, well, not usually, but sometimes like I'm pressed for time. And tomorrow I might need to film some content. It was sponsored content that was due last week, but I had technical issues where my iMovie didn't want to export so I having to refilm and oh, let me show you guys what I made so 
for the main meal i made a bagel with cucumber and um trout smoked trout ribbon i really love it so i'm gonna toast the bagel at work this is what it looks like so one thing about me i'm generally a healthy eater i grew up in a household with two men and one of them was a gym fanatic and the other grew up in rural zimbabwe so food from the garden food from the earth that's what i grew up on you know so i'm not very big on junk food everyone at work always thinks i'm on a diet but which i don't understand like why is it that in 2021 when we see someone eating healthy we like assume they're on a diet anyway and then on the side i have a salad i really love salads fruit salad veggie salads fresh veggie salads i really love a good salad so in there i have yellow pepper i have some red pepper cucumber rosa tomatoes just like those small cherry tomatoes and some lettuce i forgot to get feta i don't know who forgets to get feta cheese but yeah. anyways i'm a cheese fanatic i don't know how i forgot cheese but whatever and then on the side side i've got fruit so tomorrow i'm going to be having mixed berries i really love fresh fruit like i can't live without fresh fruit um so i've got raspberries blueberries cherries and i'm not sure if these are blackberries or mulberries i'm really not sure and then on the side i've got um milk tart and then i've also got this booster shot from sir fruit it's a fiery ginger shot i really like these when i need like a boost um or just a kick in the morning and then i've got some yogurt some lance with double cream vanilla yogurt when i first started the gym according to my body assessment i was not supposed to be eating double cream yogurt but it's like telling me not to eat amas i'll do that so this will be my lunch for tomorrow i am working a late shift tomorrow which means i'm working from 11 until 8 in the evening so I'm gonna put these in the fridge so I'm gonna watch a bit more of Temptation Island <laughs> I've now moved on to the American Temptation Island like I, I used to never really bother with it not gonna lie I've never been bothered to watch like your shows like Temptation Island but now after Temptation Island essay I want the UST as well dun dun dun, dun. happy vlogmas day everybody so I definitely did not wake up as early as I had anticipated. I don't know what is what I was expecting, having slept at like 5 a.m. But before work, before heading off to work, I just wanted to quickly hop on here and show you guys my Christmas tree. So in the midst of the morning, in the wee hours of the morning, I decided to place an order for a Christmas tree on Checker 6060. For those of you who don't know, I work in operations for the Checker 6060 app. So... I saw a customer ordering a tree and I had no idea that we had Christmas trees. So I ordered one. It was only 500 rads, well, 499, but it's like 180 centimeters. So I'm expecting it to be like, okay, I'm wearing heels right now, but I'm expecting it to be like somewhat taller than me, bare feet. I've got about five minutes before I have to leave. So I'm going to quickly unwrap it. It's, a, it's still a mess, by the way. So don't judge me. expecting but I didn't know that Christmas trees have to be assembled I thought they kind of just come in and you open it up like an umbrella you know what I did not have enough time to do this before work yeah um we can do this later today I think my excitement caused a lapse in my judgment well, and also the fact that I've never opened a Christmas tree before, so I didn't... I literally thought it just comes as one piece and then you just... Oh, like an umbrella. Ciao! Anyway. Okay. Awesome. Ta-da! Hey, guys. I don't know if the lighting is... Well, the lighting in my bathroom is great from this angle, which is not where the action happens. But anyway, I'm... Okay, so first of all, it's the next day today. 
Um, I just got back from work. No, actually, I did not just get back from work. I got back from work about probably about an hour ago. Yeah, I got back from work about an hour, hour and a half ago. And what I need to... So I am waiting on clothing donations that are coming. Um, the young lady who donated them. I got an Uber to go collect the clothes from her house because the logistics of me going to collect them and her moving around with them, it was just like way simpler for me to just send an Uber to go collect them, which I'm super grateful. Tina, if you're watching this, thank you so much, girl. Um, what I need to do right now um, is wash my makeup brushes because I have a makeup plan tomorrow morning. So I do have work tomorrow, like my nine to five, but I start at 11. This is really not working. <laughs> so I have a makeup client tomorrow morning at like 8 a.m. And then I start work at like 11. So I'm hoping that I get everything done in time. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be late for my 95, but at the same time, I wouldn't want to, you know, rush my client and stuff. So anyway, we are about to wash my makeup brushes. It's been a minute. Um, I was just also taking this baby out for a spin. I bought... Oh shoot. Wait, now hold on a minute. Girl, what is going on? I got a bubble gun. I saw this other girl on Instagram using it. And I was like super stoked. Hmm. Oh, this is disappointing. It doesn't want to work. This is so disappointing. deals with that I actually want to show you guys how I wash my makeup brushes let me adjust y'all real quick okay so I use sunlight the green mask to wash my makeup brushes and I also use this over here it's the rubbing alcohol from Discam Hey, it's a hello to subscribers, um. Hello, guys. <laughs> it goes like cool. <laughs> okay, I just went and picked up some clothing donations. The ones that I said were on the way. The good sis sent a lot of stuff, and I'm so grateful. I should actually text her. Do I send his questions as fast as that? Wow. So what I first do is. I spray the brush with the rubbing alcohol, which is sort of to serve as an antiseptic and it also breaks down the, the makeup particles. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of water just to dampen it. And then you want to rub that on there. You see how it's already like coming off. I have this thing that I use to wash my brushes on. It also comes as like a mat. I had that, but then it became like too stained and I didn't know how to get the stains out. In fact, this is also stained and I need to replace it, but it's what I have for now, so I'm gonna use it. So what I do is, you wrap it on there, just like that. And all the gunk and all the dirt comes out and see. So, show you guys how I dry my brushes after dark. <laughs> this reminds me of campus life. <laughs>
good morning darling so today is vlogmas day four it's the fourth of december saturday my day off i woke up a bit later than usual today of course i'm exhausted i just got up from bed basically i'm about to make us some coffee but i started making these in these latte cups the coffee in these latte cups all i'm saying is i knew these would come in handy when I bought them, when there was no real need to buy them, but I knew they'd come in handy. So, yeah. So now we're just waiting for this baby to get hot enough. So it needs to move. It needs to get to that point where you can then use this, the frothing thing in the bar. Oh, okay, so that light is on. So that means we can go ahead. Usually I like to start with um, clean water. Cause you know the machine's been sitting here and stuff. Yeah, so. so this is the milk that I use. I do have a tendency to be lactose sensitive sometimes. I can never tell when that's gonna be. So I just use it all the time. That is so cool. And then you kind of just <laughs> girl that is so cool with my phone oh my gosh I swear I like Instagram everything how cool is that how cool is that that is so cool these days I'm loving that and the odd things about me the things I can change are the reasons you love me oh. Listen, you can't hear them calling my name I'm alone by the place, I can see it in one place I'm not ashamed at all Still finding myself that alone is so made, I'm just saying Feel like we're one and the same My relationship change that only never existed Say something about us, you listen But fuck what they're talking about on your timeline That's going on until my time with you Fuck what they're talking about on your timeline That's going on until my time with you My time My time with you My time Time. 